Welcome to Agoracom, the small cap epicenter, and Agoracom TV, a daily, fast-paced, edgy show that brings you the best press releases out of the small cap world every morning at the open so you can hopefully profit from them and maybe even find your next great small cap investment. Now, it's Friday, January the 11th. As typical with most Fridays, it's a very slow news cycle day. I do have one press release for you, but more importantly, I want to talk about some comments made by Ron Paul, Republic presidential hopeful, hopeful candidate who made some pretty dramatic statements yesterday uh, about the gold markets. But I do want to give that headline first. It comes out of Apogee Minerals that trades on the TSX Venture Exchange under the stock symbol APE. They announced the intersection of 31 meters grading, big number here, 472 grams per ton of silver, 4.19% zinc. That's at their Pulacayo project in Bolivia. The company closed trading yesterday at 26 cents. I'm going to save the details uh, so you can actually go take a look at them in the press release because I want to talk about Ron Paul and his comments. So let's go over Ron Paul. What did he have to say yesterday? Pretty dramatic statement. He says that the gold price has been manipulated by central banks around the world for the last 10 to 20 years who have been quote unquote dumping it. Now, he made the statement in a comment uh, to thestreet.com. You can find that video. It's a two and a half minute video, so it's pretty quick for you. You can find it on our blog, blog.agorcom.com. That's blog.agorcom.com, where in fact, uh, I've, I've actually uh, posted my own blog relating to this. Let's talk a little bit about that. First of all, Ron Paul, does he have any credibility? Maybe he's a politician, but what does he know about finances? This is a man who has served on the House Bank Committee currently serves on the House Committee on Financial Services and the House Committee on Foreign Affairs. So obviously he, uh, he knows what he's talking about. Now this is something that's been echoed for years now by people like Bill Murphy at Le Metropole Cafe and the Gold Antitrust Action Committee, better known as GATA, who in fact have tried to sue Alan Greenspan, the Federal Reserve, in the past. But they've, obvious, they've, uh, they've often been knocked off as just extremists, cons conspiracy theorists, and even quacks. But their theory started to gain momentum when 2004, John Embry from Sprott Asset Management came out with a major paper called Not Free, Not Fair, The Long-Term Manipulation of the Gold Price. This is a must-read for anybody that's interested in this topic because it does have uh, repercussions on the U.S. economy, the global economy, and obviously the price of gold. Now, are they right? We don't know. At the end of the day, how possible or hard, how, how, how easy is it to prove a conspiracy theory? Ultimately, the, the ultimate evidence may come from uh, whether, in fact, gold does explode sooner or later because the natural laws of money and economics say you can't keep down, uh, you can't keep down prices and sooner or later they are going to revert to where they should be. Gold, coincidentally, today is uh, trading about $894 an ounce this morning. It did hit $898 this morning, just shy of not $900. You'll also want to take a look at that blog. I've got an article there. I've got a post there where I stated that the U.S. economy is in checkmate. The Fed is in a checkmate position. They either got to fight the recession or they got to fight inflation. But either way, it's bad for the U.S. dollar, good for gold. So you want to take a look at that. Now, going back to the conspiracy theorists, are they right personally? Uh, I want to throw my own comments here. You know, I don't know. Conspiracy theorists are, are, uh, are always difficult to prove. However, I started getting sus suspicious myself when back in the late 90s, Alan Greenspan went on what was, essentially, uh, what was essentially a world tour of central banks, and I called the Sell Your Bullion Buy U.S. Paper Tour. Coincidentally, that was going on right around the same time that the long-term capital management crisis almost single-handedly brought down the U.S. stock market. Uh, it, during that time, central banks start around the world start selling off their gold, coincidentally. Something clearly was up, and the Bank of England announced that they were selling 60% of their gold reserves Clearly, uh, something was up. Now, is, is gold the canary in the coal mine? Yes, a lot of economists believe so. A lot, of, a lot of people believe so. And take a look at what's happening. Gold, again, is up at $898, as I said, or that was as high today. Let's see what's happening. Why? First, you got, the, you got Bernanke out of the Fed saying he's willing to cut interest rates right now because he sees signs of a recession and wants to fight it off. So he put out that comment yesterday. Clearly, the Fed will be cutting. Uh, the Chicago Board of Trade futures funds rate uh, is also calling for a possibility of a 50-point rate cut. So we'll see. Nonetheless, the rate cut is coming. U.S. dollar is getting cheaper. Gold is on its way up. 
Now, what else came out this morning? Merrill Lynch announced a $15 billion write-down is possible. Okay? This is double their original estimate of their mortgage woes. This is big, big news and lends further, and lends further credibility to many people who have been saying that the U.S. subprime mortgage problem is only beginning and, in fact, is going to accelerate and peak in mid-2008. Uh, in mid With all this happening, you've got to take a closer look at guys like Ron Paul and uh, some of the things that I've stated here. Take a look at the blog because... This will impact or potentially impact your portfolio. If the U.S. economy, in fact, is running headstrong into recession, then you may want to position yourself in gold in order to be able to balance off your portfolio and maybe uh, and maybe hedge a little bit, hedge your bets a little bit. That's uh, that's a wrap for the day. As always, if you make yourself if you make your way over the blog, I do want to see some comments you may have. You may think we're right. You may think we're we're wrong. You may think you may have some additional information about uh, about the matter. We'd love to see your comments. Otherwise, have a fantastic weekend. We'll see you again on Monday when no doubt news flow will be heavy again and we'll be right here reporting the best small cap press release in the markets. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. Talk to you then.